never forget those who came before us and built up the treasure chest which we have inherited to make this possible. All of you who have believed that our ambition of turning this historic, redundant hospital into a health and wellbeing centre for the people of St Ives was achievable and have demonstrated that in a way that is truly humble. And so, after a roller coaster of the pump, from the start of our big fundraising push, we can now announce that finally we have an agreed price in NHS property services. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that price is one million and twenty thousand. Yes. We have funds in place to make this a reality, but we need an extra 70,000 to make this more comfortable. So we are also today launching a GoFundMe appeal, and we hope that you will share this with your friends and family. Thank you all for coming, particularly in this delightful weather, <laughs> and we look forward to working with all of you again over the next weeks and months. And years that <laughs> we can do this. Thank yes. you. Yes. I'm only going to speak for a tiny second just to say how amazing it feels to actually win something. <laughs> um, I think in a time where we feel like a lot of things are being taken from us um, and we're not getting much back to actually have something come back to the community that we've tried for so long, it's just, it's just wonderful. And you, know, you, you mentioned it's a long, it's been a long road. You know, we've had the original cause for GC since the 1970s. You know, and, and some of those fundraisers are not with us anymore. And we should remember that they worked so hard to try and keep it at the mm. hospital for so long. Um, and we are where we are now, thanks to the volunteers, the friends and the community for just not letting it go. And I really appreciate that. And just congratulations to them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Russell, bacon and eggs. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.